Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a video all about small space hacks, organization, and how to utilize every inch of your small space. For me, it's my tiny studio apartment in New York City so that you can get the most storage, the most functional workspace, and the most aesthetically pleasing corners that also have dual purpose. The way I came up with these hacks is through watching a lot of YouTube channels and getting inspo from the Sorry Girls or Alexandra Gator, and also a lot of trial and error on my part. <laughs> right off the bat, measure twice, cut once. I didn't actually cut anything except the desktop to this lovely workspace, which we will get into in just a moment. When I say measure twice, cut once, I mean measure a lot and then buy once so that you don't have to keep returning to Amazon because that it gets annoying. A lot of you have asked for small space organization when you saw my apartment tour and that made me so happy because I love that shit. Like, I had so much fun decorating my apartment. It's like a puzzle, right? I figured out ways to make the most of my space. When I wanna work out sometimes and I need an empty wall, there there is none. Like if I'm trying to do a handstand and flip onto the, no, there is none because I've used every inch of wall space, which is one of my tips. So without further ado, let's get into the hacks. Tip number one. If you have a small space, make the most of your walls. You want to add things to your walls that draw the eye up. For me, that means adding layers of shelves. So I like to balance the things that I put on my shelves um, with things that are functional and things that are pretty. So, you know, I'll have pieces of arts and plants, but then I'll also have books and mugs. And then um, hanging on my walls, I also display all my accessories um, on these jewelry hooks that I made myself with a stick I found and these little gold hooks. And I also put my hats up as display just because I think they're interesting to look at and they kind of tell a story of where I've been. And then, you know, there are pretty things like this macrame thing that is just pretty to look at but serves no real function. It makes your space feel a lot bigger, I think, and that is square footage that you're putting to good use. You're not putting your mugs, for example, in cabinets. You are really freeing up space, but then also making it functional at the same time. Tip number two piggybacks off of tip number one because you're using your doors as more storage, right? So doors are kind of like walls, except they move. So anything that you can hang over the door, use it. I like to use these individual over the door hooks because you can customize them to however many you want over your door. You can flip them the other way um, and you can space them however you want. I just think that they save a lot more space than the ones that are already built. Uh, this little over-the-door hook was just something that I already had, and you know how I feel about full-length mirrors already. Tip number three. Make your furniture work double time. And when I say this, I mean it's okay to have aesthetic pieces that you really love. Like, I really love my dresser. To be honest, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone if you have a lot of things to store. The drawers don't roll all the way out. Each drawer is very small. You can't put a lot in it, but I love that piece because it kind of brings a vibe to the room, right? But for other pieces like this um, breakfast nook, 
Below is the shoe cabinet that I use to store all of my flats, my flip flops, my tennis shoes, anything that is not a heel, essentially. My coffee table is another good example. I can use it as it is, or I can take it apart and use that space to fitness, like I'm doing here, LOL. I can also disassemble it and use the tray for another flat surface to have breakfast in bed or take aesthetic pictures in bed like I did here. <music> Tip number four is utilizing under storage space. Things like underneath your bed. Get storage compartments from Ikea that you can pull out I keep all of my winter sweaters that are too thick to store during the summer and that I won't even be thinking about for the next four months. The little Alcida stools that slide out under, from underneath my couch um, work double time because I can use them for extra seating, um, but when they're not in use, then I can hide them away and they don't take up too much space. Um, it's also a great place to write if I, if I feel like journaling or just jotting down some notes for YouTube videos. Tip number five, organizational cubes. I think the biggest way that organizational cubes have helped me is in my closet. My closet goes up really high and for a while I wasn't able to use that space effectively like I had a huge pile of towels up there. Every time I would take one off, the whole pile would fall down. So these cubes actually created a lot of extra space because they essentially just created shelves within my closet where I could store not only towels, but extra hangers that I wasn't using, um, duffel bags, just anything else that I didn't want out in the open. I also use storage cubes uh, for organizing some of my drawers. Honestly, I don't think that these ones are completely necessary. I don't have them in every single drawer, but the ones that I do, they're okay. They don't, I don't necessarily think they free up more space, but they're aesthetic to look at. <laughs> so there's that. Tip number six. If you have a TV, um, you would be surprised at how much space you get if you mount the TV to a wall. Now, it took me almost a year of me living in my apartment to finally get it done. And when I did, it just changed the entire vibe of my apartment. It looks so good mounted against the wall and underneath, where it hangs, it frees up so much space. So what I use it for is if I am tired of sitting here and working, I will use it as like a standing desk. The Apple Watch says that I don't stand enough and I think it's lying, but, um, so I make it a point to stand and work throughout my day. And uh, what's also nice about the wall mount that I got for my TV is that it swivels, as you can see, left, right, up and down. And so when I'm watching TV, I can angle it towards the couch. And when I'm in bed, I can angle it towards my bed. And, you know, it frees up more space for plants <laughs> if, you, if you're into that. Tip number seven is finding organizational compartments for underneath your sink. Now I will have to admit I'm not the best at this, but with the items that I do have, I've realized that it has actually saved me a lot of space. Um, so I have underneath my kitchen sink, I have a couple of drawer stands that I use for cleaning supplies that I pull things out with. Underneath my bathroom sink, um, I have an acrylic storage container for my makeup. And then other items, pads, tampons, extra hair ties, things like that. I have little acrylic containers that I got on Amazon. These things save space and keep you organized because you, it helps you visualize what you have so you don't end up running out of anything or buying too much of anything.
Tip number eight is getting a microwave shelf. Now I just got this and it's actually not exactly even what I wanted. What I wanted originally was to be able to put my microwave on top of the shelf. Um, and I was off with my measurements by half an inch. If I put the microwave on the top shelf, it won't slide underneath the cabinets in my kitchen, which is so unfortunate. I am just so tired of returning things to Amazon that I decided to make it work by just putting the microwave on the bottom part and then putting all of my kitchen accessories, my blender, my immersion blender, my water boiler on the top shelf. I mean, I think in my head, the reason why I wanted the microwave on top is because it would, again, draw the eye up and it, my counter wouldn't look as cluttered. I mean, it looks fine now um, and it is saving me a lot of space, but yeah, if you can get the measurements right, I would recommend a microwave shelf that does fit your microwave. So my last tip, tip number nine, is creating aesthetic corners with awkward spaces. And what I mean by that is instead of, I don't know, designating like this weird alcove where I put my styling rack into, originally I had ideas to create a shelf wall and storage bins, but like I didn't really need more shelves in my apartment. What I needed was more storage for my clothes. And so my tip is to create a space that you actually need. It was a way for me to put my favorite pieces, my favorite clothing items um, on display for me to have easy access to and still kind of give a vibe. Like it's almost like curated portion of my closet that I love looking at. Also, this is more satisfying than anything else, but finding little corners where things just fit and are kind of hidden in plain sight, like this foam roller that fits perfectly in between my fireplace and uh, my radiator is just so satisfying. It's not necessarily an aesthetic corner, but it just works. So find little places that you can put things. It just, it makes you feel like you're using every inch of your space. And also the pompas shed like crazy and they, they carry a lot of dust. So putting my air purifier right next to it just makes sense. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you like this video, if you found it informative or useful and you try these tips out, please hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel. It'll help other people find this content. I'm somewhat new not really but uh, we'll just say i'm a new youtuber so my content is uh lower ranked the things that i mentioned in this video that i can find will be linked down below let me know what else you want to see more apartment stuff i can do that i love my apartment <laughs> if you subscribe it'd help me a ton i'd really appreciate it leave a comment down below let me know what your favorite hack was and I will see you in the next one. Bye!